Don Barnes here for Studio One Expert. And today we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts and setting multiples for a single command. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if we look at our keyboard, by default, it has two shift keys. Why does it do that? Because obviously, sometimes you want to do it from one hand or the other. And it's the same with any command you use regularly. Most of the time, you'll do it with a single hand, and it might always be your left or your right. But sometimes, just having it in two places makes your life easier. And you always want to look at making things easier and more efficient. So for example, to record, mine is set up on the asterisk key on my numpad. I have an extended keyboard. And the R key. You could have one both. One of those is the default. One of those I've added. And so we'll go through making sure that you can add as many as you want. So watch this. I'm going to take this away here. First thing is Studio One menu, both PC and Mac, under Keyboard Shortcuts, is going to bring up this box. So let's take that command. And one of the things you'll notice is on the command, there is no keyboard shortcut over here on the right. So we're going to add one for that. So the first thing is this search allows you to narrow this down. This won't be news to most of you. Keyboard, or just press key, and that will give me all of them. Now note, if I choose record, it's a little bonus here. The command I'm looking for may require me to scroll up and down here with the scroll bar to find what I want. But I'm going to go back here to keyboard shortcuts. And there it is. And let's just assign our first one. Now, once you choose the command you want, over here on the right, this is blank in this case. If there was a keyboard shortcut already assigned, you'd see it in one of these three spots. So all I need to do is click over here, choose the key. So you'll click right on this Enter key, and then I'll put in, I'll put in an apostrophe here and choose Assign. And then you'll see it goes up here at the top, and then I choose OK. And now, instead of having to come down here to the menu and use the, the uh, menu, I can simply go ahead and smash this on my keyboard, and there I have it come up. Now let's go ahead and do this one more time. We look at my record command, and I have three things assigned to it, as I mentioned earlier. The R key is set up here, so that's my left hand. The number pad, I have an asterisk key. And some keyboards have a dedicated record key. Mine doesn't, yours might, whatever. If you have it, it's there. If you don't, it'll still be there, and you can take it away and assign something else if you want. So to remove something, all we need to do is select which one we want to remove, and then we can go ahead and use this, and now that one would be gone for me. Choose OK, it's gone. Well, in my case, that's not really what I want. I want to have that other one. So let's find Record again. That's in the Transport, and once again, you may have to scroll this. But now you'll see I do not have the R key set up. So how do you set the third one? Well, by default, if I go over here and set the R key, and then choose Assign, it's going to replace that, which is not what I want. So here's the little trick. If we come down here to this third spot where it's blank and click, you'll see the display change. It's very subtle. There's a tiny little outline up here which says this is active, but since I've selected here, when I choose Assign, it will go to that spot. If I did not do that, let's take this one here, and I assign a key to this one, now let me remove the R key for us. So there's a remove. So I've removed it. If this is highlighted and I choose the R, then when I choose assign, it's going to replace that one. So the one little tiny trick that you have to know is click in the blank spot here. Now the assign will go right here. I don't want to take that one away because when you choose this Enter key, you have to have the key on your keyboard in order to have it to go up into this particular spot. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, that allows me to use either my R key or my asterisk key. And if I had a dedicated record key, that would be it right there. So that's all it takes to go ahead and set sh keyboard shortcuts is to be able to first filter. Well, let me use delete time. If, for example, you do this all the time, if you're doing narration or podcasting or voiceover, then you're going to want to use the delete time command. And you can see, by default, it came down here. I needed to scroll up. There's delete time. In my particular case, I've reassigned delete time to the delete key, which, because I have an extended keyboard, I can do that. And some others are here. So let me take out this one. Let me take out this one. And now we have one particular key. I'll do that one more time. Studio One, keyboard shortcuts. We go to delete time. The more I type, the more it will go ahead and filter this list. There's delete time. We only have one. So how do we set that? Click in this blank spot. 
I'm going to add the zero key. Watch this. Oh, I press the O key, and because right here, pay attention, if you see this little warning, warning, that just means it's already assigned to something, and I make a decision here. Do I want to assign this key and blow away this existing one, or do I want to keep going? That's my choice. And if you choose Show here, it will show you which the details of that command. In this case, I really didn't want the O. I wanted the zero. And then you'll see there, zero, assign, goes here. Now I have two keys on my keyboard. And if you didn't have the extended keyboard, for example, then you would set it to the zero key. You wouldn't set it to something that's over here on the right-hand side if you don't have that. So you can do this one, two, three. If I wanted to set a third, the only rule is if this is highlighted, when I go down here to the Enter key and I choose something here, E, that's assigned to something else, it would replace this. So just click right here, and now that you have this here, you can choose Assign, and it'll work. I'm not going to do that in my case, just because I don't want to take that away. So it's a very simple process. Filter for what you want. Make sure it's selected. Once you have it here, then you can, as long if there's nothing here, then you can just go ahead and choose the Enter key and select the key you want. And if it isn't already in use, you can use it. You can make a decision. If you choose a sign, you're taking it away from this one in this particular case. I'm not going to do either in this case, but that's the point. Check down here. If you don't see anything, great. You're good to go. If you see something, you make a decision. Do you use this one a lot? I've taken some away. Most of them I leave as the default and add another one. So this is Don Barnes for Studio One Expert. And of course, I look forward to seeing you on the wires. Thank <laughs> you.